I heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Scout Fantasy Show. ScoutFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Scout Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Everybody, it's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. I'm going to do something different on this podcast than I normally do. Normally, I talk baseball and football, but today I am going to talk DFS golf. That's right. The U.S. Open is tomorrow, begins tomorrow. The Fantasy Golf Millionaire Maker, $1 million will go to somebody out of 122,600 of my closest friends. One person will win. Will it be you? No offense. Kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it's going to be me either. My first problem, my first problem is I don't like the entry fee this year. I liked when it was 20 bucks. 20 bucks was that perfect price point. Get myself five teams. I'm pretty happy. Right now, the price point is $33 a team. And with multi-entry, I'm allowed to have 150 entries. So I'm not good in math, so I'll take out my calculator. 33 times 150 is $4,950. So basically, all the sharks out there, and trust me, there are a lot of them, are going to spend $5,000 to win a million. Can you blame them? Seriously. Drew Dinkmeyer, Al Smizzle, Tommy G, all these good players. I'm sure I missed a thousand more. They are going to be in Sahil Sud. They're all going to be in this because at five thousand bucks to win a million, these guys spend five thousand bucks on a baseball game. So immediately you've got to be very, very, very careful joining this. I I would just say this. It's kind of like Vegas. So let me give you the best piece of advice. I always go to Vegas with what I'm willing to lose because the chances are great that you're going to lose. I'm not trying to be negative. I apologize for that because you know I like DFS and you know I love DFS golf. I do. It's one of my favorite sweats in the world. But the chances are great that you're going to lose because you're going to have 10 teams and you're going to put up $330, right? And you're going to feel like that's a lot of money. And it is. It is a lot of money. But these guys have 150 teams. 150 teams. Because they're putting up 5Gs because this is what they do for a living. So immediately, please, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, be careful. I'll say it this, this way. I put in 100 bucks. Put in three teams. There you go. You, you pissed away a hundred bucks on dinner before. You and your wife go out to dinner. It's probably a bad, fancy restaurant. It was a bad night, whatever. But there you go. So you had some bad chicken that night. You'll get over it. Same thing here, honey. I put up a hundred bucks to win a million. All right. I just don't want you going deep into your pockets when other guys are putting in a hundred and fifty teams. Okay. So let's stop there. There are other contests to get into, right? There's a best ball. Which is, which is there. Okay, that's an $8 a pop. Uh, there was a 20 entry max one for, for $3. You know that, uh, I kind of like that one because hey, it was only 20. There's a three entry max eagle, which I always like, but you're not getting the million dollars, right? The million dollars is sexy, right? The million dollars is absolutely a sexy prize. Now, see these big boppers, they're gonna go in the Thunderdome there's 200 spots in the Thunderdome at 5,300 bucks a pop. Winner there gets 200k. So trust me when I tell you, guys like Tommy G and that they'll be in those, and I don't blame them. 200 people versus 122,000. Where should you go? Boom! Right in the Thunderdome. If I had the money, I'd go to the Thunderdome too. I take my chances being one of 200 versus one of uh, you know 122,000. And in the Thunderdome, they can only do six entries. 
right? So I, I, I know a lot of them do that. So six entries is 30,000. And if they win, they get 200,000. That's pretty good investment. That's why these guys do that. Okay, so now you understand what to do. Be careful with the $33 entry fee. Other teams have 150 entries, you don't. You with me? Good. All right, now let's talk about building our lineups. First of all, you know you could always go to scoutfantasy.com. You could check out Ryan Baroff's article. He will show you how to build lineups. We will. I will talk about a bunch of different things. So you've got a contest here, right? With it's a you know I'll just I'm looking at names. So you've got names up top: Dustin Johnson, Jordan Spieth, Rory McIlroy, Jason Day, Ricky Fowler, John Rahm, Sergio Garcia are all ten thousand dollars and higher. So there's two ways to construct your lineup in golf. Two ways at work. One, you go with two ex- the stars and scrubs. So, for example, I'm just clicking buttons here. Let's say I want to go all Spanish. Sergio Garcia and John Rahm. I start out with that. Okay? Then I can get a couple of guys in the middle, right? So let's say I get a couple of guys in the middle. You know, Matt Kuchar is pretty safe. And uh, maybe this guy, Thomas Peters, is a little... I'll go Rafael Cabarabello because he's another Spanish guy. I'll go with my Spanish motif here. And now I've got 14700 for guys at the end, Right? So I'll probably take a cheap guy. I'll take Byung Hun An, right? And that leaves me about $7,900 to take a guy, and I'll take Thomas Peters, right? So Thomas Peters is a big boomer bus guy from Europe. So look what I did. I have Garcia and Rom, two guys over 10000 and then I'm able to get three guys in the 7000 range and one in the 6000 range, and I still have $200. This is called soft pricing. Why does DraftKings do this? They do this so that you will like your teams. And if you like your team, do you know what you're going to do more? Put in more entries. Oh my God, this team is so good. I can win the million with this. Sucker, you go out and you put in another 300 bucks because you love your team. Right? And look, I can do better than this for you, right? I can do better. So let me do this for you. How about Spieth and Rory, right? I can still get them in the lineup. I'll go to Pat Perez. I'll go to Graham McDowell. I will go with Beef Johnston. Oh, look at that. I still have 7500 bucks. Oh, Patrick Reed. I can get a team in with Spieth and Rory that doesn't suck. Wow. Pretty impressive, right? Aren't I good at this? So I just put Spieth and Rory on a team... With Pat Perez, Graham McDowell, Beef Johnson, and Patrick Reed. And honestly, that team doesn't suck. I'm not saying it's good, but that team can be competitive. Maybe I win because I have Spieth and Rory play well. So what DraftKings is doing is they have very, very soft pricing. Okay? And soft pricing gets you to like your team so you put in more teams. So... One raise stars and scrubs like I gave you. Here's another way. I take Dustin Johnson, right? And then I start filling in with, I don't know, Bubba Watson, Justin Thomas. I'll go back to Matty Kuchar there. Uh, Let me get uh, J.B. Holmes, a big hitter. And then at the end, I get a cheap guy. Oh, Pat Perez again, right? So look what I did here. I have Dustin Johnson, one big guy. I can still get Bubba Watson, Justin Thomas, Matt Kuchar, J.B. Holmes, and Pat Perez. Look at that. Pretty good team. So the two ways to go about winning this, I would think, is two big players and then two lesser, cheaper guys. Or one big player and one cheaper guy and then four guys in that middle range. That seems to be the way that it works. And I think I can get you this information from another website. I'm going to look for it here. Just give me one second because I think this is pretty important. Oh, okay. So last year, what won? If I'm looking here, Jason Day, Justin, Dustin Johnson, Kevin Na, Scott, Scott Piercy, Charles Schwartzel, and Daniel Summerhays. So that was in a three PP. Oh, the $20 millionaire. Okay. The millionaire maker. Jim Furyk, Sergio Garcia, 
Brandon Grace, Dustin Johnson, Shane Lowry, Scott Piercy. Here's how they finished. Tied for second, tied for fifth, tied for fifth, first, tied for second, tied for second. That's what you're going to need. The winning lineup in the $3 GPP on DraftKings was Jason Day. That was the original one. Day, Johnson, Knopp, Piercy, Schwartzel, Summer Hayes. So look at the lineup construction from both, and I'll do both for you. In the Millionaire Maker, Dustin Johnson was 11000 Then they did Sergio Garcia at 8900 Brandon Grace at 8700 Jim Furyk was 7700 Shane Lowry was 71 and Piercy was 65 So they had the one expensive guy, the one cheap guy, and four guys in the middle. The other one did the Stars and Scrubs approach. Day was 12100 Dustin was 11000 Schwartz was 7,500, then Na, Piercy, and Summer Hayes were all 6,600 or less. So that's the way you construct. But if you want to win, notice what I showed you there. You got to be really high up in the standings. Even more important, even more important to win. So you could have Dustin Johnson. So look at the team that won the $3 GPP with Day and Dustin Johnson. Day was 28.5% owned. Johnson was 24 and a half, 24% owned. Schwartz was 24% owned. But Na was 7, Piercy was 2, Summer Hayes was 2. Scott Piercy coming in second was monumental. You've got to find a guy who is going to be very low owned to be your difference maker. So let's talk about what it means to be contrarian. I don't think you need to be contrarian with three spots of your golf lineup, you will lose. You've got to be contrarian with one, maybe two spots. Right? So if I'm doing a lineup here, okay, and I'll do a chalky lineup for you, okay? I'll put in Dustin Johnson. I think that's Charles Schwartzel's chalky. Matt Kuchar, certainly chalky, right? Thomas Peters, chalky, chalky, chalky. So I've got Dustin Johnson, Schwartzel, Kucher, Peters. Very chalky. I'll even throw in Steve Stricker. Chalky. Right? Because he's the hometown guy. Now I've got $8,200. Right? So, Bubba Watson. Chalky. Duffner. Look good. Daniel Berger. Just won last week. Kevin Chappell. Who? Boom. I put Chappell in. Do I like Kevin Chappell? No, not particularly. I didn't wake up this morning and think that he's a great player, but he could be a contrarian play in this tournament because people are looking everywhere. So what you want to do is look around the price point of somebody. So I'll give you an example. Around Kevin Chappell's price point, you have Bubba, Duffner, Berger, Chappell, Snedeker, Alex Noren, Kevin Kisner, Tyrell Hatton. Well, Bubba is Bubba. Everybody knows him. Duffner has been pretty hot. Berger won last week. Snedeker has been off and on. Noren has been a great player in Europe. Tyrell Hatton has been uh, exceptional. Who is the guy that gets overlooked? Chapel. I'm not telling you I like Chapel, and I'm not telling you to play Chapel. I'm telling you this is where Kevin Chapel becomes a contrarian pick at 2 to 3% owned, which sets you apart if he's good. If he's top five, you might be my rich friend. You might be my rich friend if you play that way. Do you understand? So that's what you want to do. I'm not saying be be um, contrarian everywhere. I was contrarian with one or two plays. I could be contrarian in another way. How about Bud Cawley? Right? How about Bud Cawley? So now I do the same team. I have Johnson, Kucher, Peter, Schwartzel, Cauley, and Chapel. Why? I'm a little more contrarian with two guys instead of one. Two guys instead of one. I can be predictable on three or four players. I have to be a little different on one or two. And it's those one or two guys that will make the difference between you winning a million and losing a million. So... Here's what I want you to do. I want you to be contrarian without being crazy. What do I mean by being crazy? I don't want you to go down and take some dude you've never heard of 
Oh, Cheng Chung Pan, 6,500. Uh, 6, I'll get him in. Dude, when he goes 87 over for the tournament, you don't have a guy who makes the cut. So maybe you were able to get Adam Scott into that lineup. But when C.T. Pan doesn't make the cut, you only have five guys, you lose. I need six guys to make the cut. Six. You get five, you're not winning. Six wins, not five. So in this team here, Johnson, Schwartzel, Kucher, Peter, Scott, Pan, I got five guys who should make the cut. Pan might not pan out for me. And Pan might cost you a lot of money. So let's look at something else here. Very important. I read you that first lineup. Jason Day was eighth, Johnson first, Nas seventh, Piercy second, Schwartzel 23rd, Summer Hayes eighth. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Never put a guy on your team who can't win the tournament. I don't want a guy who's just going to make the cut. I want a guy who can win. Okay? I want a guy who can win, not just make the cut. Coming in 48th isn't going to make me your rich friend. I need guys who can be top 15 or higher. Can C.T. Pan come in top 15? No. Poo-poo on a stick. Can Kevin Chappell come in top 15? Yes. Can Bud Cauley come in top 15? Yes. So those are contrarian plays who can still score for you. Do you see the difference? Be contrarian, but don't be crazy. All right, who do I like in this tournament? I don't know. I'm still doing my lineups. I still always seem to get to the similar guys. Dustin Johnson, of course, and Spieth, and Day, and Rahm, and Sergio, you know, and Adam Scott, and Brandon Grace. You know, I'm not sold yet on Peters. Love Matt Kuchar. You know, Charles Schwartzel I like, but shouldn't I have Shane Lowry in a lineup or two? I always feel like I should because he always plays well in a big tournament. So I don't know. There are a lot of guys there, but I can tell you this. I know where my lineup construction is going to be. I know I'm going to have one or two teams with a couple of big boppers, stars and scrubs, and one or two teams that are going to be, you know, a more balanced lineup. And that's the way that I think you're going to be my rich friend. And I hope you are. And I want you to check out scoutfantasy.com. Enter the promo code ROTO. That's R-O-T-O. When you get there, go to our premium members forums. We have a golf forum up every week. We have a thread up every week where we're talking about guys, talking about our lineups. Um, M. Farris is in there. AJW is in there. Uh, Seahawks Largen fans in there. I'm in there. A lot stink for you in there. A lot of guys are in there to try and help you win some money in PGA DFS. All right, guys. I wish you a lot of luck in the U.S. Open. You know I'll be watching. I'll be rooting for you. If I can't win, I want a member of the Scout Army to win. So right now it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Back tomorrow with more fantasy sports info for you. Be well and take care. Thanks for listening to the Scout Fantasy Show. There's never been a better time to join the Scout Army. Visit ScoutFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO for two months free. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time. Go Scouts!